Hello. Today I have the privilege of announcing the 100-year anniversary of Forensic Science and Technical Investigation Divisions. The Los Angeles Police Department created the first crime lab in the United States in 1923, and it has since grown to over 300 civilian positions with a variety of disciplines. The scientific and technological advances of these divisions have been crucial in securing convictions for some of our most violent and devastating crimes. From the Firearms Analysis Unit processing the North Hollywood shootout, to the electronics unit gathering video evidence leading to the identity of the suspect in the Nipsey Hustle homicide case. The Los Angeles Police Department has been on the forefront. The photography unit supported detectives in collecting and documenting evidence in the Elizabeth Short murder, more commonly known as the Black Dahlia murder case. Our serology unit made the first familial DNA match in the United States in the Grim Sleeper serial murder case, setting the bar for the country in forensic science. In these crimes that touch our lives personally, latent prints on average process more than 7,000 crime scenes per year, while the chemical processing detail processed 548 scenes last year alone. The electronics unit processes on average 850 cell phones, and the narcotic analysis unit processes 5,000 cases per year, all crucial to criminal convictions. The polygraph unit supports our detectives in recruitment by conducting on average 3,500 examinations per year. In closing, I'd like to congratulate the Forensic Science and Technical Investigation Divisions on their centennial moment and thank you all for your dedication in serving the people of Los Angeles and helping bring justice to victims of some of our most disturbing crimes. The Los Angeles Police Department could not seek justice for the victims of these crimes without your daily excellence, dedication, and pursuit of truth. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Deputy Chief Chris Pitcher. I am the Chief of Detectives. I oversee the Detective Bureau of which Forensics Science and Technical Investigation Divisions are under. I first became acquainted with both FSD and TID um, back in the early 2000s when I was the commanding officer of Force Investigation Division. And I got a chance to watch all of the, the hard work, the dedication, and just the brilliance of investigators in the field as they processed those scenes which varied um, greatly from incident to incident. I just want to take this opportunity now to congratulate both FSD and TID on an absolute 100 years of excellence and professionalism in their fields of expertise. Today we commemorate a century of groundbreaking civilian contributions in the field of crime scene investigation techniques by our forensic science and technical investigation divisions. Integrity of investigations and evidence collection is top priority for FSD and TID. To increase efficiencies and improve the quality of laboratory services, both divisions maintain quality assurance units that operate on the idea of error prevention by monitoring compliance with policies, procedures, as well as accreditation requirements. I would like to extend my congratulations to both FSD and TID on this remarkable milestone and thank you for all your unwavering commitment to serving the community. Just remember that through your work, you speak for the victims who can no longer speak for themselves. FSD and TID are a 98% civilian personnel divisions. Among some of the major advancements of Technical Investigation Division, the Photography Unit incorporates a 360 degree camera in crime scene field work and now provides virtual reality tours of actual crime scenes in addition to documenting an average of 3,000 crime scenes a year. The scientific advancements of our Forensic Science Division have brought justice to victims by analyzing crime scene evidence. They now use a 3D scanner to reconstruct scenes and the field unit processes an average of 300 major crime scenes a year. Los Angeles, 1923. A groundbreaking revolution begins, merging science with policing. America's first crime lab, the Scientific Investigation Division, is formed. In 1923, LAPD Chief August Volmer, the father of modern law enforcement, believed that scientific analysis of evidence had a place in police work. So he ordered the formation of the first crime lab in the United States. That same year, LAPD's first criminalist, Officer Rex Welsh, was given a small cubbyhole lab in the corner of the Central Division Police Station. 
In 1929, civilian pharmacologist Raymond Pinker was hired onto the lab and the two established protocols for the analysis of physical evidence. In 1934, after Officer Welsh's untimely death, Officer Leland Jones became the commander of the LAPD Scientific Investigation Division. He developed expertise in latent fingerprint collection and analysis. SID was predominantly sworn staff until the 1970s. In 2007, the construction of the Hertzberg Davis Forensic Science Center was completed, becoming the largest regional municipal crime lab. In 2015, SID had grown to 316 positions, and the growth led it to being split into two divisions. The Technical Investigation Division is housed at the C. Irwin Piper Technical Center and the Forensic Science Division at the Hertzberg Davis Forensic Science Center. I'm Gabe Donna Pragasam, Police Administrator and Commanding Officer of the Forensic Science Division. I am Tatiana Garcia, Commanding Officer of the Technical Investigation Division. Today, the Technical Investigation Division consists of latent prints, photography, polygraph, electronics, and quality assurance units. The Forensic Science Division consists of field investigation, firearms analysis, narcotics analysis, quality assurance, serology, DNA, toxicology, and the trace analysis units. SID handled cases from Robert F. Kennedy, the Black Dahlia, the North Hollywood Shootout, to the Grim Sleeper, and more. From a humble cubbyhole to a state-of-the-art operation, the Forensic Science Division and the Technical Investigation Division. A century-long journey is a testament to innovation, justice, and the lasting legacy of America's first crime lab. I'm Christina Takeshta, Laboratory Director of LAPD's Forensic Science Division. I am Detective Darren Dupree from Robbie Homicide Division, Homicide Special Section. The Grim Sleeper cold case was California's first investigation solved by using familial DNA. TID and FSD assisted RHD with serving a search warrant in processing the Grim Sleeper scene over a three-day period. Teams of support staff back at the laboratory received and booked hundreds of items of evidence. TID Electronics Unit viewed hundreds of hours of video across dozens of recordings to identify and capture still images of all the victims. The still images were compiled into a victim board with 180 females who were identified. My name is Randy Zapeta and I'm a criminalist too with the Serology DNA Unit. Our first hit was to Mr. Lonnie Franklin, uh, better known as the Grim Sleeper. The ballistics um, that were found at several of the victims was connected to our FSD firearms unit. The hard work of SID ultimately convicted Lonnie David Franklin Jr. of 10 murders and one attempt murder. I'm Detective Greg Stearns. Uh, I work uh, in Robbery Homicide Division in the Homicide Special Section. Hi, my name is Shannon Presby. I currently work as the Head Deputy District Attorney of the Cyber Crimes Division in the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. The case involving Sherry Rasmussen and uh, the suspect in that case, former detective Stephanie Lazarus. It was a cold case. So this was a, a murder that happened back in 1986. Live testimony of witnesses was not necessarily going to rely on scientific evidence and FSD and TID were critical in the processing of that evidence. And have the uh, firearms analyst actually watch those bullets being made. My name is Daniel Rubin. I'm a criminalist assigned to the Firearm Analysis Unit. I've been with the Firearm Analysis Unit almost 33 years. This is a revolver that is very similar to the one that was owned by Lazarus and reported stolen. Was able to determine that the length of the barrel was two inches. The bullets themselves that were used had a very particular crimp of the jacket over the core and the dye that was used was proprietary to that manufacturer. Working with uh, Technical Investigation Division Electronics Section, they were able to uh, 
to provide equipment and to set up equipment for us in order to both video and audio, re audio record that interview, which was critical um, as that interview was used um, as part of the evidence um, on behalf of the DA's office in the trial. Uh, what's I mean? What's this got to do with me dating him and you know her getting killed? I mean, I I don't you know I don't have anything to do with it. And you got something that's somebody said you know whatever. So my name is Andy Oakum. I'm a surveillance specialist with the LAPD Technical Investigation Division in the Electronics Unit. One of our other responsibilities here is downloading video evidence from crime scenes. Uh, so that could be anything from a theft, a grand theft auto, up to a murder or even an officer-involved shooting. Next, there was question document uh, analysis, uh, trace evidence of the coroner's evidence envelope. That coroner's evidence envelope sat in a refrigerator for many, many years, and the writing had all but faded. The wording uh, was able to be read, and that was critical to establishing the chain of custody for that bite mark, specifically because the um, medical examiner had passed away by the time of the trial. My name is Aaron McElray. I am a supervising criminalist assigned to the Trace Analysis Unit. The Trace Analysis Unit performs a variety of tests, um, including, but not limited to, uh, handwriting comparisons, footwear and tire impressions, ignitable liquids testing, and gunshot residue testing. I'm Detective 2 Jennifer Kim of LAPD Force Investigation Division. My name is Matt Saucedo. Hi, my name is Maria Gonzalez. I'm a criminalist with LAPD's Firearms Analysis Unit. Assigned to the Firearms Analysis Unit. I'm Jennifer Emery, Photographer 3 with the Technical Investigation Division Photography Unit. My name is Anna Robinson. I'm a Forensic Print Specialist 3 with LAPD, as you know. My name is Lauren, and I'm a Criminalist in the Field Investigation Unit. My name is Casey, and I'm a Criminalist for the Field Investigation Unit for LAPD. TID and FSD are integral in documenting the location, crime scene, people, and evidence. FSD analysts are integral in documenting ballistic evidence, identifying impacts, bullet pathways, immortalizing the condition of weapons, and documenting their opinion on how a bullet traveled. FAU is available 24 hours a day to respond to crime scenes and to render firearms safe for booking by officers. We train for almost five years to become a fully qualified firearms examiner. The TID 360 image photos are used in our scenes, uh, combined with TID electronics who pull surveillance video from most of our scenes, the businesses and apartment buildings. From the time that TID photographers arrive at scene, they work in tandem with the FID investigator. They process the scene and take photographs with a global perspective. And the photographer, in a sense, has, has to use their investigative curiosity on a scene because we simply do not know what we do not know. One thing I don't think people realize about the crime scene photographers is that we will see more death investigations in one year than even one detective in a year. And that's because we cover the entire city where a detective only covers a bureau. Fingerprints have unique features. You know, no two fingerprints are identical. And sometimes when doing the work, they might even smile at you. I have some that have unique features where it looks like smiles inside. As a criminalist, we respond to crime scenes and vehicle searches. We collect and preserve evidence so that it can get later analyzed by other forensic scientists. And we write lab reports and we testify in court to our findings. Something about the field unit that some people might not know is how small of a unit we are. So we respond to crime scenes that cover the entire city. And there's only about 10 of us in the unit. So it's a really large area, a lot of crime, and there's not very many of us. I'm Chuck Siegler, Assistant Commanding Officer for Technical Investigation Division. I oversee the four operational units of TID, which include the electronics, latent prints, photography, and polygraph units. TID also has two additional units, which are the Quality Assurance Unit and the Administrative Unit. I'm Gina Ruiz, Quality Manager for the Technical Investigation Division and the Officer in Charge of the Quality Assurance Unit. I'm Michael Hurley, officer in charge at the Technical Investigation Division Polygraph Unit. I'm the supervisor and administrative head of the Polygraph Unit and supervise 12 polygraph examiners and one senior administrative clerk. Our examiners have assisted in solving countless cases where there was little evidence for arrest and conviction, countless cases where there would be no justice for the victims without the skill and determination of the examiners in the Polygraph Unit. The Quality Assurance Unit is responsible for monitoring the TID Laboratory's compliance with accreditation standards 
and its policies and procedures, including the competency and proficiency of over 140 personnel. We applied for accreditation and will undergo assessment in 2024. Units that comprise TID uh, were formerly known as the Tech Lab when we were part of SID, and we were the final units to move out of Parker Center. The rest of the department had moved out um, by the end of 2009, uh, but the Tech Lab stayed behind until 2013 when we moved into the current location at Piper Technical Center. My name is Jennifer Ferenc. I'm the Criminalist 3 of the Toxicology Unit. My name is Jessica Vasquez, and I am a Criminalist 1 for the Narcotics Analysis Unit. My name is Erin Winrow. I am a Criminalist 1 assigned to the Narcotics Analysis Unit. My name is Christy McGillray, and I am a Criminalist 2 with the Quality Assurance Unit. We ensure that the laboratory adheres to the established requirements for accreditation. We are accredited by the ANAB. Um, what that means is basically there's a set of requirements, we're following it, and we're doing quality work. In the toxicology unit, we analyze blood and urine samples for the presence of alcohol and drugs of abuse. The narcotics analysis unit analyzes items of evidence for the identification of controlled substances. What most people don't know is that the majority of what we test is methamphetamine. Counterfeit oxycodone pills actually used to contain heroin instead of fentanyl. It is a privilege to work with the incredible people of Forensic Science Division. I would like to congratulate Technical Investigation Division and Forensic Science Division on 100 years of excellence in providing scientific services to the community of Los Angeles. I'm proud of the quality work our FSD employees perform every day. I can't wait to see the advances of the crime lab in the next 100 years.